Hello, welcome to LSB Feasters radio channel where we keep great radio from the past alive. And today I've got something really unique for you. It is radio station W1XOJ in Boston. Okay, if you've never heard of this station before, it's because it was an early FM station from 1941. And the voice you're going to hear, at least to start this air check, is Edwin Armstrong. He is considered the inventor of FM broadcasting. The sound on the new FM style of broadcasting was superior to AM. It was cleaner sound, better fidelity. And in 1941, Armstrong was experimenting with FM network broadcasting. You see, AM stations used to have to use telephone lines to get from station to station to spread their network around. What Armstrong did was he eliminated the telephone lines by using the clear FM signal to take the programming to go from station to station to station. Now, in this air check, you'll hear Armstrong, at least the first voice on it, along with other engineers along the network talking about the quality of the FM network signal. So give it a list. Listen, this is a real piece of history here. The next voice you will hear is Major Edwin Howard Armstrong. You know, uh, changing the subject, uh, Lafayette, it's just as hardly possible to believe that uh, you're on Mount Washington. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're right here in the room with us. Well, you sound the same way up here too, Major. As, uh, well, I would think, really, that you were right here with us, and well, even with that long distance apart. Well, of course... Uh, I'm, uh, my voice is handicapped by going over the landline to Boston. Yeah. But you, uh, come, your voice comes the whole way by radio relay. Oh, it does, huh? Yes, and, uh, every inflection of it is, uh, right here with us. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's very good, then. Hello, Mount uh, Washington. Hello, uh, Paul. Hello, Lafayette. Good evening, Paul. Well, uh, how are the diesels? Are they purring along like kittens? Oh, gee, them two diesels are sweet hot. Well, that's fine. And those are my two children, you know. <laughs> I gotta keep them going uh, in very good shape. Yes. We have no trouble whatsoever so far but uh, with the diesel. Uh, as long as you change the oil, I've been changing the oil regular in them and checking them every two days. Fine. And every day, of course, I always look them over. Yeah. To see everything's all right. I always do that after midnight. Well, uh, Tellington came down with some very good uh, pictures, so uh, I had my first opportunity to see the installation in that manner. Oh, you did, huh? Looks all right. Looks fine. Yeah. Uh, Lafayette, uh, I think uh, some of us are interested in uh, sort of what you might call the domestic uh, problems, the little problems of uh, living up there. So I'm going to put uh, Mrs. DeMars on the line, and she can uh, ask you about... Yeah? All right. <laughs> Hello, Lafayette. Good evening, Mrs. DeMars. I don't think I've ever really met you, have I? Uh, yes, we have met at Paxton. Oh, up at Paxton. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. Well, Paul wants me to ask you. I suppose he means he wants to know how about the dish towels. Last time we were up there, Mrs. Armstrong and one of the other ladies and I had to do a little bit of washing. Well, you know, we done that uh, this week. We had dish towel week. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's right. Uh, well, well, we had a, quite a bunch of Oh, there's probably ten of them, I guess. So yes. We uh, took a forenoon off and washed dish towel. Well, that's fine. Well, then we won't be afraid to go up again. No, they're all washed nice and clean now, ready for use. <laughs> all right, then I expect we'll be up in the early summer. And oh. I suppose that will be just the next wash day. <laughs> that's just about right. <laughs> well, I'll let Paul talk to you now because I know it's yeah. time to hang up some. Yes, sir, so Paul. Uh, give my regards to the uh, boys, uh, Lafayette, and I'll uh, ask the Major to come in uh, for a few last words. All right. I'll say good night, Paul. Good night, uh, Lafayette. Well, Paul, uh, I'll say good night, too. And I just want to thank the boys on Mount Washington, Mac at Paxton, John Denny at Meriden, and the boys at Alpine. 
and to say that the next time that we do this, I think uh, we can have added in a few added innovations, uh, which I'd like to talk over with you, Paul, out uh, at Columbus. All uh, right, when, uh, then it's a date. When we get back, uh, we'll do it again, and uh, with the uh, innovations that I mentioned. All so, right, good night, late. everybody. Good night from Boston. Good night, Major. This is the Mount Washington. And good night from Paxton. This is W1XOJ Boston, the frequency modulated high frequency broadcast station owned and operated by the Yankee Network with transmitting facilities at Paxton, Massachusetts. This concludes the broadcasting activities of W1XOJ for today. We will return to the air at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Good night.